Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of our sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask for now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you camp your angels around all of us here in this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws and friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our University of the Holy Spirit. Starting today, starting today for seven days, okay, we are running a very powerful financial curse breaking campaign. Enough with demons robbing you. Enough with demons stealing from you. You know, keeping you from receiving blessings from heaven. Okay? Enough with that. Okay? I was fed up when I had demons robbing me all the time. I, I was fed. I got fed up. I got angry. I said, no, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to start knocking these devils out. I'm going to start doing what the Bible tells me to do. I'm going to knock these demons out. And I began doing it. I began doing it. Pretty soon I started seeing blessings coming my way. Aren't you tired of, of getting robbed by evil spirits? Why do you think demons rob you? Because of what you have in your brain. You have little understanding. Okay? You don't know. You don't, you don't study the word of God. You don't, you study pornography, you study dating sites, you study Facebook, but you do not study the Word of God. You are a prayer parasite, you keep depending on others' prayer, but you do not study the Word of God to see the kind of rights that you have in Christ Jesus. Aren't you fed up with demons robbing you? Keeping you from getting a good job or from starting your own business? Aren't you fed up with that? Aren't you fed up of being that broke? Huh? All right. I'm just asking a question. I was. All right. I was fed up. That's why I did something about it. I went to the Word of God looking for answers and I found answers. Are you listening to the Holy Spirit? Amen. If you want to be set free, you got to run this campaign every single day. Every single day. Do your very best to run the seven campaigns. The seven day. But if you can't, at least do it for three days. Okay? The more, the better. If you run it for seven days, more power to you. Are you listening to the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah! The scripture for this whole week is up here. The Bible says in, in Deuteronomy chapter 16. So God said in his word, Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16. He's telling you today, do not appear before the Lord empty-handed. There's a reason why some people are cursed. They keep appearing before God empty-handed all the time. They don't care about, you know, honoring God with the first fruits. They don't care. That's why demons rob them. Okay. I'm going to pray right now for the financial curse breaking, for those devils to leave you alone. I'm going to cast them out. I'm going to handcuff them. I'm going to arrest them. But you have to do yourself a favor. You need to start honoring God with your possessions. Are you listening to the Holy Spirit? Otherwise, Satan will send those demons back to you to rob you. They love robbing you, okay? And let me tell you something, okay? I preach the Bible. I teach people how to overcome Satan. I'm a teacher. I don't have to read books here and impress you reading somebody else's book. I got my own book in my head. Okay? The Holy Spirit taught me 31 years preaching the gospel. 31 years casting out demons. 31 years breaking curses. Okay? I know what to say. I know what to do. And I know what to tell people what to do, okay? 
you can honor God in this ministry. I'm going to I'm going to give you an opportunity. And I'm going to tell you right now. For this campaign to be more effective to you, you are going to do a little sacrifice and you are going to sow a financial seed, something that Satan does not want you doing. His demons do not want you doing that. Why? Because it takes power away from them. Your offering here before the Lord, right here, where I, I am preaching to you, I am teaching you, and I am also handcuffing your demons, okay? Your donation here will keep these devils from stealing from you. Are you listening? Listen to this. I'm going to arrest demons. I'm going, I'm going to use your donation to do it. If you can't do it now, do it after the broadcast. But do not forget. Don't, don't try, don't say, I'm going to give it tomorrow. No, because Satan can get to your brain and distract you and make you watch pornography while we are here breaking curses, okay? Do it as soon as possible. It's for your own sake, okay? It's for your own benefit, okay? Are you listening? All right, good. If you want to donate now, go ahead. You, can, you have options here below the video. PayPal is below the video in the description area. You want to wait until the prayer is over, that's fine too, no big deal, okay? But do it as soon as possible, okay? Make an offering, okay? Do not appear before the Lord empty-handed. That's what demons want you to do, to show up before the Lord empty-handed all the time so they can continue stealing from you and robbing you and putting sickness and disease inside your body that you can't even work now because you're going to be on disability, okay? Are you listening? Let's cast out devils right now. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on his snakes and his scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, financial demons. Come out, demons robbing these people. Come out, demons lying to them. Come out, demons stealing from them. Come out, demons keeping money from coming to their hands. Come out, evil spirits. And demons keeping them from getting a very good job, a very high paying job. Get out of these people now. I bind you. I arrest you. I handcuff you devils. I handcuff you. I have authority in Christ to handcuff you demons. I handcuff you and I confine you now to prison. Go to prison. Leave these people alone. Leave these people alone. Leave these people alone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out, financial demons. Come out, money demons. Come out, poverty demons. Come out, financial curse demons. Get out of us. Come out of our loved ones. Come out of these people right now. Get out of them right now. Come out of them right now. Poverty, get out. Poverty streak and get out. Come out, poverty and lack. Come out, poverty and lack. Come out, poverty and lack. Come out now. Come out now, devils. Come out now, devils. Go to the pit now. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out and go straight to the abyss. Take a deep breath right now three times. More demons are going to come out of you. Okay. Come out, devils. Come out, financial demons. Come out, money demons. Come out, poverty demons. Only three times. Come out, poverty demons. Come out, poverty demons. Come out, unemployment. Come out, unemployment. Come out, disability, stinky devil. Come out, disability. Come out, disability. Get out of these people, disability. Go to the pit now. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. 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 Demons, as these people offered to God through this ministry, they make an offering 
to God through this ministry, Demas. When they sow that seed, Demas, that seed means you cannot touch them any longer. In Jesus' mighty name, are you listening, devil? Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out now! Come out now! Go now to the pit, devils! Go now to the pit, devils! Go now to the pit, devils! Go now to the pit! 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 Come out and go to the pit! Come out and go to the pit! Come out and go to the pit! Come out! Take a deep breath three times only. Uh, three, one, three more times. Go ahead. Come out, curses. Come out, witchcraft. Come out, poverty. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Father, for driving out these demons away from me, from me today. Thank you, Lord. I saw the now let me say this as I was casting out demons I saw demons hiding I saw demons freaking out I saw demons jumping out of people I saw demons flying out of them now keep these demons at bay keep them away don't allow them to come back to you and steal from you any longer okay don't appear before the lord empty-handed okay do something okay make a sacrificial offering to the lord not to brother carlos to the lord but to, through this ministry why because i preach the word of god i cast out evil spirits amen i represent the holy spirit on this planet are you listening amen say amen say i'm free I'm running this campaign. Now, let me say this again. Okay. This is a seven-day campaign starting today. Today is day one. We're going to run this every day until Saturday. God willing. God has to give the green light. If you can run this campaign for seven days, more power to you. But if you cannot, at least run it for three days. Minimum is three days. You can pick the dates. Minimum is three days. Now I'm going to pray for my ministry partners. My ministry partners are the smart people that sow financial seeds into this mission regularly, okay? You can become one, okay? Go below the video in the description area. Make a donation there. Become a ministry partner. Praise God. Father, I ask for now that you stretch your hands out towards all my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them, raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and camp your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men, and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free, and save those that are not saved. Father, break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy, off of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back. Out of all that they have sown into this mission, blessings multiplied many times over, whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between, or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, I ask right now according to your word in Psalm 34 verse 7 that you camp your angels around all of us, the angels broadcast around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws and friends to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our University of the Holy Spirit. Okay, seven-day financial miracle prayer campaign, amen? Today is our second day, praise God. There's blessings that come to us when we appear before the Lord, okay? And offer a little sacrifice, okay? It happens all the time, friends. God is not a liar, amen? God honors His word, and I am a witness about that. When I used to, you know, not honor God financially, I used to be dead broke 
everything you know in my life was wrong you know i was losing money every time i had a little bit money satan came in he snapped it out of my hand so then i learned you know honor the lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all you increase okay so then i learned that and then i began doing it it wasn't easy to do it at first but i i had to fight because i was fed up you know being robbed by satan you know on top of that sickness disease infirmity all that kind of stuff to keep me from working even depression and oppression to keep me from working and making money that's how the devil works folks okay the devil one way he steals money from people is by hindering them from working he puts diseases in their bodies now they you know stay home they can't work Okay, so how are they going to make a living? They're going to have to beg the government for money, right? And that's not God's intent for them. Okay, God, God's intent for you is to depend on Him, not on the government. Okay, God is your provider. Okay, honor the Lord. And this is a good ministry for you to do that. Why? Because we preach the word of God. We help people break free from curses and evil spirits and the like. I've been doing this for 31 years. I have seen so many people break free from the chains of the devil, including myself and including family members in my life, in my family. Okay, so my, I am a witness. If you don't have anywhere to sow your finances, especially because all the churches are closed now because of the pandemic, this is a good place. Okay, very good place for you to do so. Okay. Okay, let's just go ahead now and go after evil spirits. Okay, I know for a fact that evil spirits steal money from people. They steal their health. They keep them in bondage. Okay, right? And, 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 the, real, and the way the devil does that is by driving people to do the you know, wrong things, to buy the wrong stuff. Depending on what you buy, you are actually sowing money in Satan's kingdom. Okay? Amen? And there will be a price to pay. There will be a penalty. I always tell people, nobody can beat... Nobody, nobody can beat... I'm sorry. Nobody can beat the devil's interest rate. The devil gives out with one hand and then he takes back with both. Okay? Do you think credit cards, interest rates, 26% a year, do you think that's too high? Oh, let me tell you something, that's not too high in comparison to the, de to the devil's interest rate. Nobody, no bank, no credit card company, no financial institution ever can beat the devil's interest rate. Okay? Keep that behind your eyes and in between your ears, okay? The devil wants you sowing money in the wrong places, signing up for dating sites, you know, paying, you know, membership for uh, a pornography, pornographic websites, and, 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 and buy secular movies to watch them, that kind of stuff, okay? When you do that, you are sowing money into Satan's kingdom. And that's all Satan wants you to do. So he can, you know, he steal from you, rob you, hinder money from getting to your hands and on top of that make you depressed suicidal sick diseased okay that's what he does and he is very good at it okay he knows exactly what he's doing you don't have to teach satan how to torment somebody okay he is an expert all right i'm just telling you there's ways you can be protected okay and that's God's way, okay? If you want to be blessed financially, then start honoring God, okay? Start doing what God tells you to do. And don't forget, you can sow financial seeds here for this campaign. I will not recommend anyone running this campaign without sowing anything. It's not my recommendation. That's what Satan wants you to do anyways. Well, just run the campaign. You don't have to sow anything, right? That's what the, the devil wants. Why? Because he doesn't want you free he doesn't want money coming to you he doesn't want you know doors of opportunities being open to you that's why he speaks into your mind okay right that's it this seven day campaign 
If you are able to run the seven day campaign, great. If you are, if, if this is, is your first day watching, you know, participating, know you that I recorded a video yesterday. We had a broadcast yesterday. You can always watch that one as well because, it, you know, you, you can watch that one. If you missed it, you can watch it. So you can catch up with us. Amen. You can watch it today. Don't wait any longer. Now, if you can run this campaign for seven days, great. For, for seven days, great. But if you can't, do it at least for three days. At least for three days. Okay? If you miss the live broadcast, the video is being uploaded to YouTube. You can watch it there on demand. Amen? Just look for the title. Day two of Financial Miracle Prayer Campaign. Yesterday was a day one. Okay? Look for day one if you missed it. Okay? So, uh, let's just go ahead now and drive out evil spirits. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Okay, you don't have to donate right at second because I don't want you to miss the prayer. But after this broadcast is over, then do it. Okay, in order for you, for this campaign to be valid for you. Okay, you can do it right after the broadcast is over. You can go below the video in the description area. Amen. And you can donate there. Praise God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now exercise authority over every demonic spirit, principalities and powers assigned by Satan against anyone here participating with me in this campaign. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, evil spirits, I command you now to come out. Get out of the people participating with me in this campaign. Get out of their family members. Get out of me. Get out of my family members. Get out of my ministry partners. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, financial demons. I bind you. I restrain you. I handcuff you. And I pull you out of us. And I send you now to eternal prison. Go now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, financial demons. Come out, demons robbing people. Come out, demons stealing money from people. Get out now. Get out now. Disability demons. Demons putting sickness and disease inside people's bodies so that they won't be able to work and generate income. Get out now. Get out now. Get out now, drug addiction devils. Get out now in Jesus' name. Go to the pit now. Go to the pit now. Go to the pit now in Jesus' mighty name. Consumerism demons, go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Come out now. Get out of everyone here in this broadcast. Go straight to the abyss now, evil spirits. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. I break you now, curses, by the power and the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I now declare you curses broken and destroyed. Go to the pit now in Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath three times. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, financial demons. Come out, financial curses. And go to the abyss now. Go to the abyss now. Go to the abyss now. Unemployment, come out. Unemployment, only three times, okay? When I say take a deep breath, only three times, it's only three times. I don't want you hyperventilating here and then get dizzy and then faint, okay? I, I don't want that to happen, okay? Unemployment, evil spirits, get out now. Welfare demons, get out now. Get out now. Get out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Poverty demons, evil spirits keeping people impoverished, depending on the government for food. In Jesus' mighty name, come out, evil spirits. Come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go straight to the abyss now. Come out, food stamps devils. Get out now, poverty demons. Poverty devils. Violence. Murder. Get out, homicide. Suicide. Come out, depression. Go to the pit now. Go to the pit now. 
Go now. In Jesus' mighty name. If we spirits keeping money, hindering money from getting to, to our hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Get out now. And go straight to the abyss. If we spirits hindering uh, uh, opportunities for business. You know, for generating income. Business opportunity. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. And I drag you now to the pet with spirits. Go now in Jesus. Mighty name. Take a deep breath three more times. Only three more times. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in with spirits. Say amen. Now I'm going to pray for my ministry partners. My ministry partners are the smart people that sow financial seeds into this mission. Amen. Father, I ask right now that you stretch your hands out towards all my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them, raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and camp your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free and save those that are not saved. Father, break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy, off of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back. Out of all that they have sown into this mission, blessings multiplied many times over, whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between, or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, that's it for now. And come back tomorrow. Let me pray a final prayer right now, okay? You can make a donation right after this broadcast is over, okay? For this campaign to be valid for you. If this is your first time, make sure you watch the day one that we recorded yesterday. Praise God. And come back tomorrow for more at the same time here. All right? Yevareha Adonai veish mereha. Yaer Adonai panaveleha vihuneka. Isa Adonai panaveleha veyasem leha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day until tomorrow. All right. God bless you now, friends. Bye now. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, I ask for now according to your word in Psalm 34 verse 7 that you camp your angels around all of us here in this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws and friends to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil in his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome everyone to another live edition of our, the most powerful financial prayer, which is a seven day financial miracle prayer campaign. Amen. We are running this campaign this week for seven days, and uh, and if you, and, and if if today is your first day, you can run it for seven days. All you have to do is watch day one and day two, okay, of those other two videos that we recorded, okay, and then or you can run it for three days. That's okay. The minimum here I recommend that is three days, but if you run it for seven days, more power to you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. A couple of announcements here before we go into our prayer. Okay. I noticed that some people are making donations every day. You don't need to make donations here every day for this campaign. Okay. We recommend that you make at least one donation. Okay. The size of it, it's up to you in between you and God. Now, if you make one donation for the whole seven days, that's good enough. Okay, but if you want to make more, it's up to you. Okay, but you don't have to. For the campaign purpose, you don't have to. But I recommend that everybody running this campaign should make a donation, you know, to, you know, uh, uh, sow a financial seed. Okay, so that financial seed can go to work on their behalf. Praise God. 
You can make a donation below here because we are a ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. We preach the gospel. We cast out demons. We pray for the breaking of curses. We do all kinds of stuff here. I've been doing this for 31, 31 years, since 1989. Okay, so, um, and, and this is a ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you sow here, you are doing good, okay? We have a couple of options, Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. PayPal is listed below the video in the description area. You can go there and make a donation there, amen? You can do it now, or you can do it right after the broadcast is over. So you don't miss anything here. Right now, we're going to cast out financial demons. Some people don't believe that there are financial demons. Let me tell you, there's all kinds of demons of all shapes and sizes and colors out there. They attack people financially. They attack people in their bodies. They attack their marriage. They attack their families. They attack their children. They attack their, their bodies them, themselves. They attack them. They cause automobile accidents. I mean, you name it. Disability is a demon that cripple people and don't even let them, okay, work to make income. They have to beg the government for money, right? Is that God's will that you beg the government for money? Okay, if you beg the government for money, then the government becomes your God. That's not a good idea. I'll tell you that right now. God is our provider. Are you listening to the Holy Spirit? Praise God. So right now, oh, by the way, the scripture for the whole week is this one, okay? It, it's written in the Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16. You can read the whole, you know, portion there, the context to, to see exactly what it, 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 it says. But God commanded man to appear before him and not show up empty-handed. That's an order from God, okay? So, my recommendation is what is written in the Word of God, okay? Do not appear before the Lord empty-handed, okay? But if you make one donation for the whole campaign, you are doing good. You have not appeared before the Lord empty-handed. You did something. But if you don't do anything, then you are appearing before the Lord empty-handed, and that is not a good idea. I mean, Satan loves that. Satan will love that, okay? But it's not a good idea if you want to break free from financial demons and curses, right? Amen? Let's just go ahead and drive out demons right now. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Come out, financial demons! Financial demons, look in my eyes. You don't want people to know huh, that you are behind the stealing huh, out there. Huh? Demons, you don't want people to know that there's such a thing as financial demons. Huh? You don't want them to know that, right? So that you can continue to rob them quietly and they don't even know what you're doing. Right, devils? But devils, I'm here to expose you. Because I walk with Christ, and Christ reveals everything under the sun to me. Okay, Demas. And by the way, Demas, I see you. I see you inside these people's bodies right now. I see what you've been doing to them. I see the sickness that you put in them. I see the laziness, the depression, the oppression. I see evil spirits. Demas, you can hide from them. But you cannot hide from the, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is inside me. And therefore, you cannot hide from me. I see you. And by the way, I'm going to drive you out now. And you are going to come out from those people that made donation for the campaign. And they are running this campaign. You are under obligation to, to come out of them. Are you listening, Demas? Demas, I don't give you an option. I'm not asking you to say yes or no. I am commanding you by the power and the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. And demons, you know me very well. Don't you? Don't you? I arrest you every day. I arrest the kind. Okay? Your kind. I arrest them every single day. I cast them out every single day. Are you listening, devils? Of course you are. You listen very well, devils. I'm going to drive you out now, okay? 
And I'm going to use these people's donations to cast you out and to handcuff you. I'm going to handcuff you with their donations. Even if they make the donation after the broadcast is over, it's still going to be valid. After they make the donation, you demons are going to be automatically handcuffed. Okay? In the name of Jesus Christ, I now bind you, I restrain you, and I handcuff you, and I pull you out of these people, and I confine you now to eternal prison. Go! In Jesus' name. Go! In Jesus' name. I use their donation right now to handcuff you, devils, and you are now handcuffed. And for those who are making the donation after the broadcast is over, the moment that they drop a coin, you will be automatically handcuffed. Are you listening, devils? I hope you are. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now, evil spirits. Come out now, evil spirits. Come out now, demons and devils, in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, sickness, disease. Come out, automobile accidents. Come out, depression, oppression, drug addiction, alcohol. Come out. Pornography, come out. Dating demons, dating psych demons, come out. Netflix demons, come out. Get out now, video game devils. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Secular movie demons, get out now. In Jesus' name. Get out now, sex toys. Come out now, in Jesus' name. Come out now, sex toys. Go to the pit now, stinky devils. Come out, adultery. Come out, fornication. Come out, financial demons. Come out, demons stealing from these people. Get out now and go straight to the abyss. In Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath three times right now. Come out, demons. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Say amen. See, I'm free. Jesus Christ set me free. And therefore, I am free. I will never bow down to Satan any longer. Say that in Jesus' name. All right. Praise God. Amen. You, evil spirits, you are now gone for good. Leave these people alone so that they can prosper. You have been blocking them from receiving uh, employment, from receiving finances, money. Right, demons? You know how to block money from getting to their hands, don't you, devils? That's why you are handcuffed. That's why you are bound and restrained. Because now you cannot hinder money from coming to them. Are you listening, evil spirits? Uh, Go to the pit now, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in everyone's bodies, minds, souls, and spirits. Say amen. Now I'm going to pray for my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Those are my ministry partners, and I pray for them daily. You, you, you are more than welcome to become a ministry partner. So financial seeds here, or pick, you can pick and choose, amen? Become a ministry partner here so we can pray for you every single day. Father, I ask right now that you stretch your hands out towards all my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them, raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and camp your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free and save those that are not saved. Father, break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy, off of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back out of all that they have sown into this mission. Blessings multiplied many times over, whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between, or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name. Yevareha Adonai veish mereha. Yaer Adonai panaveleha vihuneka. Isa Adonai panaveleha veyasem leha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day. If you got here late, you can watch this video on YouTube. It's been uploaded to YouTube. If you want to run the campaign, we have already day one, day two, and day three. You can watch those three, okay? And you can run the campaign for seven days. They are also available on my website, brothercarlos.com, okay? God bless you now, and I'll see you tomorrow for another, you know, day of this financial curse breaking campaign. God bless you now. Bye now. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of our sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask right now according to your word in Psalm 34 verse 7 that you can put your angels around all of us here in this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws and friends to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against shall prosper in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome everyone to another live edition of our day four of our seven day uh, um financial miracle prayer campaign curse breaking prayer amen so uh today is our day number four if this is your first day you can run the the, the three days you know four five six and seven actually four more days and then uh you can go back and watch day one day two and day three so you can complete your seven day campaign or if you just want to run it for three days that's fine okay here at least three days but if you run it for seven days i believe there will be more power to you and i believe i believe in greater miracles for you because it's a sacrifice sacrifice releases spiritual power the greater the sacrifice the greater the power okay that's why when you pray and fast you drive out demons easier than if you don't right sacrifice right you are abstaining from food, that's a sacrifice. So you are running a campaign here for seven days, that's a sacrifice, okay? Nothing is easy out there. Spiritually speaking, there's nothing easy. There's always a price to pay for something that you want. Through prayer, through fasting, through, you know, campaigns, prayer campaigns, you name it. You gotta study the Word of God, you gotta know what Jesus told his disciples i always recommend people to study the new testament the new testament to study the new testament especially the words written in red the words spoken by jesus very very important for you to know what jesus spoke and and why he spoke that way and what was the the meaning of his preaching and teaching gotta know these things folks otherwise if you don't you can be hanging out at prayer parasite networks all you want guess what it's not going to be enough to set you free jesus told his disciples in john 8 31 and 32 if you are indeed my disciples you will know the truth and the truth will set you free so in other words the bible says that the truth will set people free okay not deliverance prayer Jesus never told anybody to beg for deliverance prayer. It's not found in the word of God. But what he said is, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Okay. All right. So I know some of you love to beg others for prayer. Okay. But you don't do anything to help yourself. Right. You don't know the truth. You don't study the word of God. Okay. You study Playboy magazines. Yeah. But the word of God, you don't. Right. Right. You spend time watching Netflix all the time, but you know, the word of God, forget about it. But how do you expect to be set free? Okay. Satan is beating up his followers every single day, all day long. He torments his followers every single day. Who are, who are you know, Satan's followers? Those who do not follow Christ. Those who do not study the word of God. Those are Satan's followers. Okay. If you don't follow Christ, well, guess what? Do you think you are following Obama? Obama follows, Obama follows Satan. Okay? If you do not follow Jesus, you follow Satan by default. You are Satan's follower by default. You don't have to work hard to follow Satan. All you have to do is do nothing. 
Do nothing spiritually, then you are already following Satan. So this campaign, you know, the purpose of this campaign is to help people break free financially. That is one area that Satan is destroying left and right, right and left. He is destroying people financially. He keeps them broke and needy and lacking. Why? Because these people don't know the word of God. They don't know the promises of God. All they do all day long is begging others for prayer. And they think that others' prayer will set them free. I'm here to tell you right now, though they will not. You need to take action. In this campaign right here, do you think my prayer is going to do any good for you? Just the prayer itself? No, you got to run the campaign. Okay, you've got to take action. Your action is to run the campaign for seven days. If you want to see miracles, if you want to see greater miracles, if you want to see, you know, the hand of God come through for you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but some of you love to, you know, hang out at the Prayer Parasite Network, listening to those prayers that they hide their faces and they read from a prayer book to impress you. Okay, now you think that they're speaking on, on their own. No, they're reading a book. They don't show their face. They're reading a book. They're trying to impress you to make money with Google Ads. Okay, with YouTube Ads. They're trying to impress you because you have little understand, understanding, so you don't see these things. You don't pay attention. Help yourself. Stand your ground. Okay? God has called you to stand your ground, not ask others to stand the ground for you. You do it. You do it. Okay? All you have to do is follow Jesus. Listen to him. Pay attention to his word. Amen? Okay? So now we're going to address financial demons. Okay? The scripture for this whole campaign is this one up here. They shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. God had commanded men to appear before him for prayer and for sacrifices. And God gave them instructions. It's written in Deuteronomy chapter 16. God told them, told the leaders to tell the men, tell them not to appear before the Lord empty-handed. Now. If you are running this campaign for seven days, I recommend that you, you know, sow a financial seed, okay? Because that financial seed is going to work on your behalf. You don't have to do it every day. Just do it once for the whole seven day campaign. If you want to do it more than once, that's fine up to you. But the requirement here in order for you, okay, to, you know, appear before the Lord, okay, with something in your hand, we only recommend that you do it once for the whole seven day campaign. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray now. And you can make a donation below here because we preach the gospel. We preach the, you know, we preach salvation. We preach deliverance. I've been doing this for 31 years. I have already helped people get rid of demons. Even my teachings can, can cast out demons. Why? Because I preach the truth. The truth will set people free. Okay, sometimes you don't even have to cast out a demon. Just by preaching the truth, the demons are already flying out. That's the way it is. Okay. But you got to know what is out there for you from God. You've got to know. Okay. You've got to study in order for you to know these things. Okay. Do you think when I'm, I'm going through trials and tribulations, do you think I'm begging others for prayer? No, I know how to stand my ground. God taught me. I know how to die with God's number. Okay, why am I going to call a sister so-and-so, a brother so-and-so, an evangelist so-and-so to stand the ground for me when Jesus already taught me how to do it? Psh, psh. All right, let's drive out demons right now, financial demons right now. Those that keep robbing you and stealing money from you and keeping you from succeeding in life. Okay, Satan keeps demons in your brain. Okay, making you watch, you know, video games all day long and Netflix and all that kind of stuff. So you won't learn about his truth. Jesus is truth. Okay, that's what Satan does. He keeps your brain busy on the internet looking at porn. Okay, signing up for dating sites. That's what Satan does to you. He, because he has access to your brain. Because no one has taught you how to you know, stand your ground, how to, you know, learn how to be strong in the Lord. Got to learn these things, folks. You've got to learn these things, folks. 
The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. If we spirits who have been robbing these people right now, I command you to come out as they run this campaign, de devils, for seven days, devils, devils, let me repeat that to you, okay? As they run this campaign for seven days, you know at the very last day of the campaign, you already know, demons, what to do, don't you? You already know that you have to pack up and leave. Don't you know that, demons? Of course you do. Of course you do. That's why you don't want them running this campaign for seven days, right, devils? That's why you are doing everything in your power to distract them, right? Right? Even this morning, some got distracted. They are not even here right now because they got distracted because you guys know what to do, huh? They don't, but you do, huh? Okay, all right. I'm just saying because I know, you know, demons, how you work. I know how you operate, evil spirits. That's why I'm going to arrest you right now. Okay? I'm a demon cop. I arrest evil spirits. Okay? I handcuff them. I arrest them and I drag them to prison. I'm a spiritual cop. Okay? Amen? That's what I do. Right, demons? Demons, you know that, don't you? You're smart folks. You know that. You know that I walk around with handcuffs, son, just waiting to see you so I can handcuff you, huh? Yeah, I do that just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. Right, devils? Because I know what I'm doing. I follow Christ. I don't follow Netflix. I follow Christ, okay? I stand my ground, okay? I don't beg others, you know, to stand my ground for me. I don't. I don't. They don't even know how to stand their ground for themselves, okay? I don't, right, devils? Devils, you know, huh? you see this kind of stuff, don't you? All right. All right. Okay, I'm going to arrest you right now. I got the handcuffs here. Can you see them? All right, good, demons. All right, good. I'm going to arrest you right now, okay? For those people who made a donation here and are running this campaign for seven days, I'm going to handcuff you right now, demons, on their behalves, okay? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stretch out your hands now, demons, okay? I now handcuff you. I bind you. I restrain you and I pull you out of these people and I drag you now to the pit. I drag you now to eternal prison in Jesus' mighty name, evil spirits. Come out of these people right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out of these people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pull you out of them. Come out. 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 Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits, demons and devils, get out of these people right now. Come out of them, come out of them. Loose their lives, loose their bodies, loose their minds. And do not hinder money from coming to them. Do not stop that, devils. Do not get in the way now because I am commanding you by Jesus Christ. Okay? Take your nasty, dirty hands off these people's money and opportunities and employment and high income and that kind of good stuff. Evil spirits, stay away from these people running this campaign for seven days. Stay away from them. Are you listening, evil spirits? Are you? Of course you are listening. You listen very well. Very well. Okay, now you're handcuffed. You are restrained, you are bound, and you are arrested. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And all other spirits, the, the, the sexual demons, the, the alcohol and drugs and, and pornography, you too. Okay, sickness, disease, you too. Mental illness, you too. I arrest you, I handcuff you, I bind you, and I pull you out of these people, and I confine you now to eternal prison. In Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath three times right now, folks. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Say amen. Say amen. Now say this after me. Say, I am going to follow Christ. I'm fed up of getting beat up by demons. 
Okay? From now on, I will follow Jesus. And I will have victory in my life. Spiritually, financially, socially, family, and the like. And professional, and the like. Say amen. Amen? Now I'm going to pray for my ministry partners. Amen? My ministry partners are the smart people that sow financial seeds in this mission. Amen? Hallelujah. By the way, if you didn't make a, a financial donation here yet, and you like to make after the broadcast is over, the moment that you make the donation, demons are going to be handcuffed automatically. Okay? They're going to be handcuffed, okay, on autopilot. Amen? Praise God. Is that good news? Praise the Lord. Amen. You can go below the video to make a PayPal donation. Praise God. Below the video in the description area. Hallelujah. Let's pray now for my ministry partners. Father, I ask right now that you stretch your hands out towards all my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them. Raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and camp your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free and save those that are not saved. Father, break a witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy, off of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back. Out of all that they have sown into this mission, blessings multiplied many times over, whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between, or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yevareha Adonai veish mereha. Yaer Adonai panaveleha vihuneka. Isa Adonai panaveleha veyasem leha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day, folks. Until tomorrow with the day number five. Amen. God bless you now. Have a good day. Bye now. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of our sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask for now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you camp your angels around all of us here in this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex, in-laws and friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome everyone to another live edition of our financial miracle prayer campaign. Today is our day number five. Amen. Praise God. The goal here is to run this campaign for seven days. But again, I said this year before, if you run it only for three days, good. But if you run it for seven days, more power to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, the scripture for this week is the one up here. Okay. They shall not appear before the Lord empty handed. God had commanded, you know, man to appear before him for sacrifice, for prayer, for that kind of stuff. And uh, and he gave them uh, uh, strict orders to the leaders to tell the men, okay? Tell them not to appear before the Lord empty-handed. So in other words, every one of them had to bring an offering, okay? So that is spoke, that was spoken by God himself. So the idea when we appear before the Lord is to have something to offer to our Father in heaven, amen? So he can, in turn, multiply that and send blessings you know our way praise god so he chose to do that way and that's up to him now for the campaign purpose here since this is a seven day campaign my recommendation is that that you make a donation at least one time okay you don't have to do it every single day unless you want to more power to you okay but if you are running this campaign, okay, do not appear before the Lord empty-handed, okay? If you want God to bless you, praise God. So the requirement is at least one time you sow a financial seed, sow it right over here. We, we preach the gospel, we serve Jesus, we help people be set free from demons, 
We teach people how to be free from curses and that kind of stuff. I've been doing this for 31 years. On YouTube, I've been doing, I've been preaching here since what, 2011. Preaching. Okay, now, recording videos once in a while, you know, since 2007. July 2007, I recorded my, I uploaded my first video on prayer to YouTube. Okay, that video is still there. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and pray now. Um, and uh, every morning we address evil spirits because, you know, evil spirits, they rob people financially. Look what Jesus said in John 10.10. 10. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come so that they have abundance, okay? All right? You know, they have an abundant life. That's the reason I, I have come. That's what Jesus said. Now, the thief applies to Satan. He, he is our spiritual enemy. So, he sends out evil spirits to block financial blessings from getting to us. They have the ability, okay, to hinder money from getting to us. Let me tell you what evil spirits can do. They can infiltrate servers such as Google, Yahoo, and, 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 and Microsoft. They have the ability to do this kind of stuff, okay? They, they are more high-tech than any engineer working for Google. Listen to me. Okay, they know exactly where to go to block a blessing that is coming, you know, via the internet. It's coming to you via the internet. They know what to do. Now, how do you stop that? They are spiritual hackers. How do you stop that? Through Jesus, not through Google, not through Microsoft, not through Yahoo. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen then we can stop them, we can block them, we can arrest them, we can handcuff them and send them to prison. Okay, I cannot, I'm in California, I can arrest a demon in China. If that demon is working against me, I can arrest that demon in a heartbeat. I don't need to know the location where the demon is. You know, it can be in China, can be in Japan, can be in North Korea, whatever. Okay. I can get to that demon and I can handcuff that devil. I can bind that devil through the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. I have done it before. Okay. I have cast out demons when I was in Brazil. I drove out demons in America without speaking to the person, without getting on the phone or the internet. I drove out the demons and they left. Confirmed by the parents. They left the child. That's the beauty of serving Jesus. Okay. All right. I can arrest a demon anywhere in the planet. I don't have to travel by airplane to get there. From here, from my studio, TV studio, I can arrest and handcuff any demon working against me through the power of Jesus Christ. That's why it is a very good idea to walk with Christ. I didn't say walking with Donald Trump. I didn't say walking with Nancy Pelosi. I said walking with Jesus Christ. Are you listening? Amen. You can make a donation here to run this campaign if you have not done so yet. Okay. We have here uh, Cash App and Venmo and PayPal. PayPal is in the below, below the video in the description area. Do not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Okay? Don't do it. All right? Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen? Let's drive out evil spirits right now. Praise God. The Bible says, In the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, and to overcome all the power of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you right now, evil spirits, take your nasty, dirty hands of everyone running this campaign for seven days. In Jesus' mighty name, come out of them right now. I bind you, I restrain you, I handcuff you, and I drag you now to prison, eternal prison, evil spirits, go. In Jesus' mighty name. I command, take your nasty, dirty hands of everyone running this campaign in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose their money. 
lose their finances do not hinder money from coming to their hands do not hinder opportunities from appear to them from knocking at their homes in jesus name knocking at their doors in jesus mighty name do not hinder any blessing from coming to them in jesus mighty name with spirits you and i know that i have authority over you granted to me by christ jesus and i exercise my authority right now to drive you out in jesus name come out come out come out in jesus name come out in jesus name come out in jesus name come out financial demons come out in the name of jesus christ come out poverty come out financial curse come out now in jesus mighty name come out pornography come out dating site demons get out now in jesus mighty name come out adultery fornication get out now and go straight to the abyss go straight to the abyss sickness disease infirmity get out disability demons go to the pet automobile accident devils go now in jesus name go now in jesus name the spirit of death come out coronavirus demons go to the pit now come out and go to the pit come out and go to the pit in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name take a deep breath three times right now come out evil spirits come out financial demons come out money devils in jesus mighty name stay away from these people evil spirits do not hinder opportunities uh, 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 for employment or to start their own business do not hinder those opportunities from coming to them in jesus mighty name do not touch their money in any way in jesus mighty name go to the abyss right now and stay there in jesus mighty name you evil spirits you rise to fall you are you know defeated enemies get out of us right now get out of our loved ones right now and go straight to the abyss in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ and everybody running the campaign said amen praise god if this is your first time here you know make sure you watch all the other videos day one day two day three preferably once a day day one one day day two the next day day three the next day okay until you watch the whole seven videos then i'll tell you if we spirits will freak out they will fly out of you in a heartbeat as you run this campaign for seven days are you listening to the holy spirit amen now i'm gonna pray for my ministry partners my ministry partners are the beautiful and smart people that sow financial seeds here regularly they sow financial seeds into this ministry we preach the gospel we get people saved and set free from evil spirits we teach people how to overcome satan and his kingdom amen i have been doing this for 31 years praise god hallelujah hallelujah we serve Jesus. We represent Jesus Christ on the face of this planet. This is a good ground, okay? This is good soil for you to sow your financial seeds. Praise God. Hallelujah. You got some options over here. Become a ministry partner because I pray for my ministry partners every single day. Amen. Let's just go ahead and pray now for my ministry partners. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we just present to you my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them, raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and keep your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free and save those that are not saved. 
Father Break, All Witchcraft, Voodoo, Black Magic, Hexes, Hexes Vexes, Word Curse, and Evil Eye, Envy, Jealousy, of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back out of all that they have sown into this mission. Blessings multiplied many times over, whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between, or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name, now say amen. Say, I am, I am blessed. I am blessed because my Father in Heaven has blessed me. I am, you know, destined to prosper in everything I do. Amen? Say amen right now. I'm going to pray the final prayer. Yevareha Adonai veishmereha, Yaer Adonai panaveleha vihuneka, Isa Adonai panaveleha veyasem leha. Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes His face... <coughs> shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace god bless you now have a good day friends until tomorrow with our day number six praise god hallelujah have a wonderful day in the presence of our lord and savior jesus christ yeshua hamashiach amen bye now Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome, friends. Let's just go ahead and pray right now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask when I according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you camp your angels around all of us here in this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws, and friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our seven-day financial miracle prayer campaign. Amen. Today is the, the day six. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. If this is your first day here, you can run this campaign and then go back and watch the other ones that we already recorded one a day. That's what we, re we recommend. Amen. So uh, we recommend that you go and find the day one, day two, day three and watch one a day. You can watch more than one a day. But what I'm saying to, for the campaign to be valid for you, uh, you need to do it for seven days. If you do it for three days only, that's fine. But you now it's more power to you if you do it for seven days. All the videos are recorded on YouTube. And plus, they are available also on my website, BrotherCarlos.com. BrotherCarlos.com. If you have a hard time typing that on the browser, just search Google or Bing for BrotherCarlos.com. Then you're going to find my websites. All the videos that we recorded already are available there for people to run their campaigns on, you know, on their own pace, you know, at their convenience. Okay. Amen. All right. Okay. We are going to pray right now for the campaign. Amen. And uh, here we are going after evil spirits because there are such a thing as financial demons, financial evil spirits. They work behind the scenes to rob people, to make them spend more money than they need to. People who buy medication all the time, you know, they're spending more money, you know, they're spending pretty much all their money buying medication. What, who do you think that does stuff like that? Evil spirits, they do. They work behind, they make people spend money here, spend money there. They make people gamble here, gamble there, because they lie to their brain and they make them believe in lies, in, in, the, in, in illusion, that kind of stuff. So we have the right in Christ Jesus to command these evil spirits to leave us alone, okay? And we ought to do. This seven-day campaign is designed to do just that. If you run this campaign, you are making a sacrifice for watching one video a day, even if it's, it's your, even if today is your first day. 
You can still run this day, run tomorrow, and then go back and watch day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five, one a day. Then the campaign will be valid for you, okay? It, uh, uh, sacrifice releases spiritual power. The greater the sacrifice, the greater the power. It takes a little sacrifice to run a prayer campaign like this. But you know, friends, would you like to succeed in life? Aren't you fed up of evil spirits robbing you? Aren't you fed up of being dead, you know, dead broke? You don't even have money to give away to a poor person, okay? Aren't you fed up of that, having to eat chips and, and drink Coca-Cola because you don't have money to buy a nice meal? Aren't you fed up with that? Okay, I was. I was. That's why I do this kind of stuff. Why? Because they work. I used to be dead broke. I used to, you know, starve. I mean, I, I didn't. Going back some 15, 20 years, there were days I did not have money to eat that particular day. I went hungry all day long. Okay. Why? Because I was under financial curses. Okay. Those are evil spirits. Okay. That work behind the scene to keep people in bondage. They don't let people prosper. And if they prosper a little bit, then they go ahead and steal everything from them. They put sickness in their bodies, you know, to hinder them from finding a good job and working and making income. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I, I've been doing this for 31 years. I have seen all kinds of demonic activities against human beings. I know what I am talking about. Amen. Praise God. Let's drive out demons right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Say amen. Say thank you, Jesus. I want to be set free. Say thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross to set me free and to save me. Your sacrifice is all I need in order to walk in freedom, in order to be saved and to live in heaven for eternal life. Father, but also for me to enjoy abundance right here on this planet. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your ultimate sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Say amen. Let's go after evil spirits right now. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you evil spirits, I command you now to come out of everyone here in this broadcast. Get out from every person running this seven day campaign. Get out of us, get out of them, get out of our family members, get out now, evil spirits. I am commanding you to come out and you have to obey my command. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Get out of everybody here. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, financial demons. Come out, uh, 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 sickness, disease. Come out, poverty, stricken devils. Come out, the spirit of death. Come out, gambling demons. Get out in Jesus' name. Come out, drug addiction and alcohol. Get out now, evil spirits, and go to the pit. Go to the pit now. Come out, pornography. Come out, dating site demons. Get out, evil spirits. Go to the pit now. Go to the pit now. Come out, evil spirits, robbing these people right now and, and keeping money from getting to their hands. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. I bind you. I restrain you. I handcuff you, evil spirits. And I pull you out of everyone running this campaign for seven days. Come out in Jesus' name. 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 Come out and go to the pit now. And don't ever, ever come back to these people right now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, take a deep breath right now three times. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Say amen. They, they, let me say this to you, folks, okay? The, the, the scripture for this whole campaign is the one up here, okay? They shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Let me explain to you what we are doing here. 
okay? We recommend, okay? All right? We recommend that every person running this campaign for seven days or three days, okay? Or seven days, okay? We recommend that you sow a financial seed at least one time for the whole campaign. One time, okay? In order for the campaign to be valid for you. Okay, that is one thing Demas don't want you to do. Why? Because if you do, it's more power to you and less power to them. But if you do not do, then you are listening to them. Then they have power to continue robbing you. That's how things operate in the kingdom of God. There's a reason why Proverbs chapter 3 verses 9 and 10 says like this, okay? Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all you increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Okay. Also, there's a scripture in Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Shall men put onto your bosom. For with the measure that you measure, it will be measured back to you. So this is, these are scriptures from the word of God to back what I just said. Sow your financial seed here in order for this campaign to work for you and to kick evil spirits out of your life. Now, also, I must say this. All these videos are being, you know, recorded to YouTube. They're being uploaded to YouTube and also available on my website, brothercarlos.com. If a month from now, two months from now, you feel like running this campaign again, you can. All you have to do is find the videos. Look for them, find them. If you go to my website, they will be there for a long time. Why? Because I want people to run this campaign in order for them to, to be set free from financial evil spirits. Amen? So they can prosper, get a good job, get a good income, and, 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 you know, and enjoy you know, life. A little bit all right I'm making these videos available on YouTube for a long time okay amen because I want people to run this campaign over and over and over again amen the more the better you don't have to do it next week just do it a month from now two months from now six months from now a year from now do it again okay it's more power to you say amen say I'm free Jesus Christ set me free he died on the cross so that I can have freedom in him in order for me to enjoy life and live an abundant life and also live in heaven after I depart from this earth. I will live in heaven forever with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Say amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray for my ministry partners. My ministry partners are the smart folks that sow financial seeds into this mission. Okay. You can pick and choose to become a ministry partner here. Make a donation, you know, once in a while, you know, regularly and become a ministry partner here. Amen. And I pray for my ministry partners daily, every single day. Let me pray right now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I just ask right now that you stretch your hands out towards all my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them, raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and camp your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free and save those that are not saved. Father, break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy off of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back out of all that they have sown into this mission. Blessings multiplied many times over, whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between, or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Yevareha Adonai veish mereha. Yaer Adonai panaveleha vihuneka. Isa Adonai panaveleha veyasem leha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now, friends. And do your very best. Those of you who have been already running this campaign since day one, come back tomorrow for our last day. 
And if you started today or you started yesterday, you can continue listening to this and then go back and listen to day one, day two, day three, once a day. Praise God. You can go to my website, brothercarlos.com, if you are not able to find the videos on YouTube. Just go to my website, brothercarlos.com. God bless you now and have a good day. Amen. Bye now. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, ask right now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you camp your angels around all of us here in this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex, in-laws and friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our uh, seven-day financial miracle prayer. And by the way, today is our last day. Today is the day number seven. Praise God. I'd like to congratulate all of you that were able to run this campaign for seven days. And for some reason, this is your first day. Go back and watch one by one, day one, okay? Then the next day, day two. You can search them based on day one financial miracle prayer, you know? You can find it. Just make sure you type day one. And then the second day, day two. The, the third day, day three, okay? Until you come to day seven, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm excited that we were able to run this campaign for seven days, Amen. Hallelujah, the scripture of the day is, I mean, for the campaign. They shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. God gave a command to men that were supposed to appear before him. They did every year, three times a year, you know, for sacrifices, for that kind of stuff. And then God told them, told the leaders, tell them not to appear before the Lord empty-handed. Everybody had to bring something, Okay. They all had something to bring. So the same word applies to us today, okay? It's not a good idea to appear before the Lord empty-handed. Always offer something. You know, I always do. You know, you can offer $10, $20, $50, however you want to do it, okay? I don't think you can bring a piece of chicken, a chicken leg here because, you know, we, we can't give God chicken leg, you know? Amen. He doesn't need a chicken leg. I would. I would eat it. Amen. But how can you hand it to me? You know? Praise God. Hallelujah. God is good. God is wonderful. Amen. I'm excited that we were able to run this campaign for seven days. Hey, it doesn't hurt for you to run this campaign again from time to time. The more, you know, you run the, this campaign, the more power to you. Satan hates this kind of campaign. He does hate because it takes power away from him. Okay, now he doesn't have the same power he used to have over your life. Now he's going to have to, you know, quit tormenting you and robbing you. Praise God. Hallelujah. That happened to me. I used to be bound by the devil. You know, not anymore. Not anymore. Amen. Praise God. Because I honor God. Amen. I pay attention to what the word of the Lord says. Okay. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your, your, barns will be, your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with wine. Amen? Praise God. Okay, let's just go ahead now and drive out evil spirits. Praise God. If you like to make a donation, you can do it now or you can do it after the broadcast is over. We have a couple of options here. You know, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. For, for PayPal, you got to go below the video in the description area. For Venmo and Cash App, you can do it right on your cell phone right there. You know, you don't have to get off the, the broadcast. Amen. Or you can do it after the broadcast is over. Praise God. Amen. Let's close our campaign with an offering. How about that? Amen. That It's a good idea. We open the, 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 the campaign with an offering. Let's just go ahead and, and close the campaign also with an offering. Amen. It's more power to you and less power to Satan. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's drive out evil spirits right now. 
uh, uh, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you right now, evil spirits, get out of everyone here participated of the seven day campaign. Get out of us right now. Get out of our loved ones. Come out of our household. Get out of our homes. Get out in Jesus name. Come out in Jesus name. Take your nasty, dirty hands off everyone here right now. Get out. Come out, evil spirits. I bind you. I restrain you. I handcuff you. And I pull you out of everybody here. And I send you now to eternal prison. Go in Jesus' mighty name. Leave us alone. Do not touch what belongs to us. Do not hinder money from coming to our hands. Do not hinder anyone here from finding a good job, a high paying job, or starting their own business, successful home business or whatever else in Jesus mighty name. No more evil spirits. No more hindering people here. No more you know, hindering blessings from coming to their hands. No more. No more, no more. In Jesus' mighty name. Get out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Take your nasty, dirty hands off everything that pertains to us and belongs to us. Get out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Lose our money. Do not hinder money from coming to our hands and do not steal money from us. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, go straight to the abyss now. Go straight to the abyss now, in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, financial demons. Come out, sickness and disease. Come out, drug addiction and alcohol. Get out and go to the pit. Come out and go to the pit. Come out, sexual demons. Come out, pornography. Come out now in Jesus' mighty name. Addiction to secular movies. Go to the pit now. Go to the pit now. Addiction to unwholesome foods and drinks. Go now to the pit. Come out and go to the pit. Come, come out. Get out in Jesus' mighty name. Financial demons. Money demons. Demons robbing people here. Don't do it any longer. You are now bound and handcuffed for eternity. Go to the pit now. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Say amen and take a deep breath. Three times only. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, curses. Come out, devils. In Jesus' mighty name, go straight to the abyss now. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask for right now that you seal this campaign, that you seal this deliverance, and that you fill up every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in everyone here present right now those who ran this campaign for seven days father fill us with joy fill us with happiness and with confidence and father help us keep our faith going and going strong in jesus mighty name amen congratulations for all of you who were able congratulations okay to you for, you know, to those of you, okay, who were able to run this campaign entirely for seven days. If you are here right now and you have not run it the, the, the whole seven day, you can start. You can start tomorrow, go one day at a time, day one, day two, day three, okay? Day one, financial miracle prayer. Day two, financial miracle prayer. Always search based on that, okay? Or just go to my channel, the videos are... Oh, by the way, go to my website. All the videos are there. I'm going to leave them there for a while because I want more people to run these campaigns, okay? BrotherCarlos.com 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 Easy to remember. BrotherCarlos.com 
all the seven videos are gonna be there I mean right now I have six there but this one is gonna be there uh, today you know this morning okay and then you're gonna see seven there praise God hallelujah now I'm going to pray for my ministry partners my ministry partners are the smart people that sow financial seeds into this mission because we preach the real gospel we help people break free from curses and demons and all that kind of stuff amen I've been doing this for 31 whole years. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you can become a ministry partner, by the way. Okay? You can pick and choose here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, I ask for now that you stretch your hands out towards all my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them, raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and camp your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men, and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free, and save those that are not saved. Father, a, a break of witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, a hexes, vexes, word curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy off of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back out of all that they have sown into this mission. Blessings multiplied many times over. Whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between. Or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Yevareha Adonai Veish Mereha, Yae Adonai Panaveleha Vihuneka, Isa Adonai Panaveleha Veyasem Leha Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day, folks. Amen. And until next time, praise God, have a wonderful day in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.